Hello, my name is Tony Fall. This video is to give a brief outline of some software developments that I've been working on recently in conjunction with Thomas, my son, who works as a data technician in the World Championships. One of the new features is to combine the output of race bike data acquisition with the power of our established suspension analysis software. The aim being to provide race teams with an easy to use tool for more in-depth analysis of their data. This clip just shows the first stage. As we progress we will upload more videos. I hope you find the content interesting. Well this is the opening screen of our existing suspension analysis software. Uh, the new features which this video is uh, demonstrating uh, are hidden under uh, this button labeled telemetry. But before we can use any of the features there, we need to load in the parameters of the suspension for the uh, bike that we're looking at. Uh, now to save time I've already preloaded uh, those. We can look at the rear suspension details here and uh, we can see an animation of the uh, suspension movement etc. Uh, we can also calculate and plot graphs of um, spring rate of the wheel and uh, wheel movement and velocity ratios etc etc uh, but we won't dwell on that today. So now that we've uh, ensured that we've got all the uh, bike parameters loaded we can go into the telemetry system. Uh, first of all I'll load some different data. Uh, th this, this data has come from uh, the Jello track now what we, we can see here that we've got seven repeating patterns that represents seven laps which is difficult to look at all in uh, one one go uh, oh incidentally the parameter so what we're going to do is uh, drag with the mouse to select one lap uh, the curves in red are the compression of the front fork so uh, up here is when the fork compresses is when it's extended uh, the uh, traces in green are the uh, rear wheel movement again uh, when uh, we're up here this is the uh, uh, maximum compression of the rear wheel and down here well this is when the uh, uh, when it's sitting on zero is when the rear suspension is actually topped out it doesn't look as if uh, this particular bike was set up too well at uh, the time that this data was taken. Anyway, else, elsewhere on the screen we've got an animation here of the um, uh, motorcycle with the uh, which, which has been drawn from those um, parameters that we entered in previously and we've got some um, um, progress uh, gauge things that where we've got uh, features such as the rear wheel movement here, we've got the front wheel movement at the front, um, we, we've got uh, bars indicating the amount of brake pressure, throttle position and backwards and forwards acceleration, braking and uh, accelerating. Here we've got a, a, a lean indicator uh, with a numeric value shown uh, this is pretty obviously a, a rev counter and this number is the speed in kilometers at any particular point. This is an indicator of which gear uh, the motorcycle's in. Um, now it's quite possible to set up on, on the normal data acquisition software screens traces which show all of this information but it's just additional lines on a graph like this which get very confusing uh, visually uh, to interpret and uh, so put, putting a lot of those features into these bars and the lean indicator and, uh, and the rev counter etc uh, it's much easier to interpret um, visually. Now uh, one thing the standard um, data acquisition software uh, what it doesn't include obviously is uh, links into software uh, which can dynamically indicate the um, attitude of the bike at any particular point and that's one of the, the main new features that we've got here is to provide this additional information as well as to pr provide some of this other information in an easier to assimilate manner. Um, so what we can see now because of the numbers in these boxes is the attitude of the bike at any particular um, section of the track and it's a range that as we move the mouse cursor along the bike adopts the appropriate attitude that it would at that particular point because of the um, uh, position of the suspension at any one point. 
Uh, up here we can uh, vary what we see on the, the, the graph at the moment the green trace is, is just showing the rear wheel movement uh, we could show just the rear shock movement which is now in blue or we can show both the rear shock and the uh, wheel movement but again it, uh, the, the additional traces on the screen uh, start to make it uh, more confusing to look at so we'll just look at the uh, wheel movement which is the most important of course uh, we, we also got a feature where we can um, have the y-axis as as a distance or as a on a time base so uh, the, the x-axis now represents seconds uh, whereas previously it represented uh, meters there are advantages and disadvantages of both depending uh, what sort of data one wants to get out of the, uh, the system uh, now some additional features that we've got here if I click on this histogram button uh, we instantly see a histogram of um, half a dozen uh, different factors which are probably quite useful for trying to analyze the, both the performance of the rider and also the setup of the suspension uh, the significance of these if we look at this one first which is the, the throttle percentage uh, this scale up here represents the percentage of the time that any parameter uh, is, spends. Uh, so here, uh, where we've, we've got the uh, upper 5%, we can see that um, for 35% of the time, roughly, uh, this rider held, held the throttle above 95% of full throttle, uh, and around about 27% of the time, it was uh, shut off below 5% opening. Uh, the remainder of the time was spent somewhere in between, as we can see here. And uh, this is the same uh, sort of significant with these other factors here. We're looking at the front brake pressure uh, here, the, the, the RPM. Uh, th this rider tends to hold the RPM, um, well, n n not at the, the most efficient position, which would be uh, closer up here. Uh, a better shape to that curve would be something if we followed that uh, the, the mouse cursor. Uh, along. Uh, so th th these four uh, histograms here are actually very useful for discussions with the rider so you can s basically compare his um, actions or res response uh, with, with those of another rider and perhaps help him um, in improve his, his lap times. Uh, th these two histograms on the right with the um, suspension are mainly uh, useful for helping to set up um, uh, the suspension to uh, see how well uh, that's been done previously. Um, we won't go into the, it would take far too long to go into uh, uh, how you extract the, the maximum information uh, from these. Um, oh, we've also got a radio box here where we can choose to see the selected data that was the, the, the data that's on the uh, uh, graph screen up here or whether all of the data that we've got available and you can see there are slight differences between that uh, if a rider is very consistent lap to lap then all the all available uh, data uh, histograms would be pretty much identical to those from the data that we've uh, selected for one lap now another feature is something that uh, is much more common in the car world uh, than it is in the bike world, but uh, it it's also uh, has has uses, and uh, maybe with this software, the uh, uh, more people will um, use some of these uh, diagrams to help with the general setup. Uh, it's known as a GG diagram, and basically what we we've plotted is the acceleration in G's uh, for both um, acceleration in a straight line, which is braking and uh, accelerating in a normal manner, uh, but also the lateral acceleration from cornering. Uh, so here we are uh, cornering to the right, this is cornering to the left. Uh, anything above the zero here represents braking and uh, below represents acceleration. Uh, this maroon curve is just an RMS uh, average of the uh, uh, rather more chaotic um, actual data uh, behind that. Again, um, how to analyze this 
um, would take far more time than is available in this uh, in the short uh, video clip. Uh, but again, we can look at all the available uh, data or uh, just for the selected lap that we've got. Uh, this is one uh, case where actually it's more the overall uh, data which is uh, probably going to provide us with the maximum amount of information. Now, another feature here, rather like the um, animation of the bike following the, uh, uh, the, the position along the, the, the track, if we just move that down and close this window, um, we can see just where we are on the GG diagram again as, as we do the graph. Um, well, that's uh, about it. I hope you uh, in enjoyed this uh, short preview of the software. Uh, if any of you have got any um, ideas or suggestions for um, features to be included in uh, the, the, the new software, uh, then send me an email at uh, info at tonyfold.com with any suggestions or feedback that you've got. Uh, thank you very much for your time.